the how to complete player registrations coming up to seasons 18 and 19. First of all, you want to go to the whole game system and log in with your fan number and password. If you do have a fan number, please just contact us at West Riding, we'll be able to support you find that. Or if you've forgotten your password, you can just reset it there. To the system, you'll be greeted by your normal home dashboard. This is where you can edit your own details. What you want to be looking for, you want to look for your club. So it could be your club chairman, a club secretary, or a club player registration officer. Check the club name underneath. You just click into it. It's the club's account. In this section, you can click player registrations. First to do when you're into player registrations is to do a bit of a data cleanse of the players in there. This will cause any players on the system who have received a card in the past or played for you in previous years and had to be contacted by West Riding, they will be linked to your club already on the system. What you want to go through, just kind of scroll through the names and tick any you don't think or not play for you anymore. So you can play at the same time and hit detach from club. Warning. Just hit yes. If you have a large amount on here and you're adamant that a lot of them are not linked with that club, what you can do is click that select all feature there and what you will do it will select every single player and you can detach them all from your club. This will be like starting with a new sheet, so it's starting from fresh for your whole club. So wait, you just click that. Or if you deselect, you click it again. Now you've up your system and you now want to start adding players in. So first point I call you to search to make sure they're definitely not in your system. If I search my name, no data. What you do is click search for player. This will take you to a second search filter. So again, name in and provide date of birth. You do not need to provide postcode. You can search just off of these two. Hit the green to search. And they will have them if they're on the system. At this point, all you'll want to do is just click Add Player. Club's details are correct. Invert. And then Add Player. Now added back into that original list. Just find the player now on your system. So that's completely done for that player. If I just name names, just to double check them there. This spinning wheel, this is because a large amount of people are on the server. So there you go, I found me straight away on there. Now, I'm trying to search for someone, so you do the same search for this. Find it, so you search for it again. Hit the button. Again, search name. And then, if you drop down message saying zero contacts found following the criteria, this means that there's no no one on our system with that name or date of birth. This will want to create a new player. Just, do, just hit that little name there, create a new player. It should fill another add player page. It would all the information across what you've already filled in before with the name and date of birth. Point all you need to do is select the gender, enter the postcode, email address. You might not have to add an email address or phone number. If he's a junior under the age of 16, it will not ask for this information. Down a photo. Your league requirements are you must upload photo out of I checking with your league if you need to add a photo in at this point. Most or all junior leagues are wanting photos. You this just by clicking select, and like a normal document upload, you can select a document. It on your phone, mobile phone, as long as it is clear to see the face and shoulders, it shouldn't be an issue at all. And that, all you need to do is save this player. They generate a fan number for that player, so it could may take up to 24 hours, but usually it's fairly instant. It will create a fan number straight away for them. Once it's it, it will take you back to registration. And that will now be on there. So you'll be able to search him and they'll be now added in. So you can do this for every player who's not on our system. Give it all the players 
then you get to the final steps of completing your your database of players. So for due, it gets slightly easier as you can filter by age group. So for if I have under eight, I can select the under eight age group, filter by date of birth, and come with just players. What you now is you tick the players who you want to assign to the team. What you assign to teams at the top. This will drop up who they're able to play for. So if you're able to play for these two age groups, you would pick what team you wanted them to, and select the selected teams. Because many teams have big squads, you could do this in one big go. So what you do is one with numbers. all adult players on your system because you're an adult team or if you need to you can change this filter to oh sorry you can change the filters to older you might want to change it to open edge you have junior clubs in your setup all the players and you what you can then click is select all assign teams if there is a database missing it won't allow you to do this point so please make sure you do enter all information If I select you, assign to teams, there, there's no teams in that club, so you please make sure it is correct, your club affiliations, everything. Selected one, it now allows me to add to the open page. You can select multiple at the same time, and selected teams. You do get messages up if you don't put in information for that player, so please make sure when you are adding the players in, you add all the details you can for that player. Once your players are assigned to their correct teams, you can now do what is called consent. There is two ways to do it. You can confirm offline consent. Consent means that player has signed to your club in writing or by by paper, or some means confirmed it so we you can prove it. If you have that, you can request consent online. This drops an email to that player, and they can click one button on that email, and it confirms everything to do with that club. This is vital when it comes to transfers and eligible players and anything like that. Because uh, if we have a transfer going ahead, and uh, which hasn't been confirmed and no consent has been given to a player, this will cause an issue in ours. It might be an illegal approach on a player or anything like that. It, it makes it more difficult for that consent. You can offline consent nice and easily. This is what we advise to most clubs because you just be quick and do it all in one tick. So you can just select all offline consent and it confirms everyone and you, you're done for that then. Once your consent is onto your final steps, you've added all your players to the correct uh, teams. You have your consent to all. What you can do at this point, you can just click select all and submit to the league. This will submit to the relevant league that player will be playing in. So they play for a team in a Saturday league and a Sunday league for the same club. It will send two registrations off for that player to be allowed to play in both. If one plays in the Salbury and one plays in the Huddersfield area, if they're not on the same day, it will send two submissions. Or if you have teams playing in different, it will send it off to the right areas. Once submit to league, that is you completely done at this stage. Um, because what it goes through, it goes to the league to approve and they can either approve or reject. If they reject it, they must put a reason on why. So more than likely, it's usually because of the photos. If you reject it, all you do is click into the player's name. And type details, you can click Edit Details. So you will allow you to edit any of the names or database. You must come through West Riding for that. Um, the season's already underway and you already submitted to the league. We may for proof of name or to birth just to avoid any issues arising. Upload a new photo. You just select a new photo from your computer and update it. Also you can get the addresses of the players if you think they they're it. And then all you would do is save changes. That's how to go through the player registration so that quickly shows you how to add players. The transfers is exactly the same as the way you added a player. 
So what you do, you would search for that player on the system and then try to attach him and it would automatically trigger all the transfers for you. So there's no need to do anything different, it does it all automatically for you. If a player who you then suddenly want to add in, you have got 24 hours from detaching where you can go in and reattach the player. you would have to do as a club to go through and add the, the players in and confirm consent. So it's very important to do it in those steps. So if you add everyone into your club to begin with, if you attach the players teams, if you then consent and then submit to league. Once you've got all the players in, you can do the other three in bulk. So you can do them quickly by selecting more than one at a time. If you have any questions, uh, ask away. Um, if, if not get answered, we'll get you an answer back to you. But if you need any help, just contact West Riding.